Hello guys, this is Haven. I am going to do a how they dried video. I've got a few things built up and want to share with you and a few things I did in between doing these and didn't get videos of them. They were just kind of done for fun. So let's see what we got. Here is my geode pour. I did for the pouring and harmony group. I used aqua flash and did a few added white to it to get a few different shades. The ones I added white to aren't as flashy as the one without white. And then I used my metallic silver with some hologram glitter in it. And I thought I put glitter in the white, but I guess I didn't. So, um, but then I put glitter in my white spot here to kind of get the middle. Well, some of the aqua colored paint came up through the glitter. It's not as glittery as uh, I thought it was going to be, so I might do some embellishing on that just to make it glittery. But I do like it how it came out for being my first geode attempt. This one, I did start, this one was going to be my geode, but it didn't work quite right, so I went and did, used a hair pick and wiggled it through a little bit, and then I decided to just swirl it around, but I think it looks kind of cool on how it came out. So, yes, just wanted to share that one. And then here is my tree ring pour I did with leftover paint. So I just did a combo of different things, and I know there's silicone in it because you can definitely tell, and I believe I had silicone in my black and silicone in the silver. I did not have silicone in the, that silver. So there is that. I really like how it turned out. It dried pretty, and it... It's got some really good cells in it, and more did of course pop up while it was drying. And then here is the other little leftover paint canvas I did with, and took the beads, did the little whoosh thing with the beads. Those were, that was cool. I'm going to do more of these like this, but I like how it dried, it kept the lines, went through, I guess I had it in a level spot for a change, thankfully. And here is the traveling tree ring pour I did for the other pouring in harmony challenge this last week so I really like how the cells came up in this and this is the one I torched probably torched just a little bit too much but it got some really cool little tiny cells that came up so I do like how that one turned out and after I got done doing that video I decided to play with my paint I had left over from doing the pour and I made a dip canvas this little I think these are like four by four little canvases I did a dip and got my edges covered and I noticed I should have done the edges first because they kind of made little lines on it but I think it's kind of cool and I got some really neat little cells going through this one and I did this one too these will be these are dips my husband likes the dip style so I decided to do a couple of them. And these ones will be turned into magnets. I've got magnet strips that I'll put on the back of them. So those are what I did. And then I also did, and the, the funny thing is I did stars. I poured some paint on some stars and it's the leftover paint, but the red really did not come out in these. It's more just the blue and the white and just a little bit of the red came out. But I did those stars. I'll turn these into fridge magnets after I clean up the back. And I dipped this one. And it definitely has more of the red. But for these, these two, this I just poured over extra paint. This one I actually made a separate little thing to dip these in. Just to kind of see what I would get more concentrated on dipping them. And these are my little glass dome things I did. I can never remember the correct term for the glass part that goes in the pendants. Some of them, let me see if I can bring it in and not make them too out of focus, but hey, let's do the zoom in thing. I think that works better. But some of them, I dipped them in spots that already had like the paint, had the dip look. So some of them kind of created a couple little flowers in them. These were from a different pour. These were from more of an air dusting when I had the silver. I think I don't remember. I think they were leftover paint from my traveling chewing pork. It's got those colors in it. These ones 
were from doing the red, white, and blue. But let's zoom in and see if we can get a better look at them. There we go. A little bit more. See if I can push it. There we go. But yeah, they were fun to do. I'm going to get them put in pendants here soon. And like I said, I will be making a little video on that. Just life is kind of busy with the holiday coming up this week and week weekend. So, and then here is my negative space pour for the acrylic artist YouTube support group. I know I say it wrong, but when I did the pour, it's in that description. So you look at that video, you can get all that info and check out the other artists that did it. And I had a drying in the bathroom because it's like where I have a spot to dry things. I noticed some of the puddles made a little, they didn't crack, but you can tell there's layers. So it's got a little bit of a texture to it. But somebody got water dripped on it while they were washing their hands after going potty. And I've had a house full of kids the last few days. And while this was drying, they were all here. But my mother-in-law really likes this one. So we never know. She might end up with it, but I will be sealing it and all that stuff. It's just got to cure for a little bit more, but I do like how it turned out. And she says she even likes the colors and she can't wait to see for it to glow. So, and speaking of that, I am going to do my best this, at least by the middle of next week, I will have a how they glow or how they dry. I don't know. I haven't decided how they look under the black light and glowing. That's what we'll call it. But I've got, I'm going to round up all my paintings that I've done with glow in the dark in it. I do, did get a glow in the uh, black light flashlight. So I can use that and, and the kids have kind of been playing with it. So I know it works. I just got to figure out a spot to do it because of course it's not even noon here. So the sun is out bright and shiny and I'm a big windows kind of person. So I don't really have a dark spot in my house at the moment to be able to do a black light, see how they glowed thing so I'm gonna be working on that but I will be getting I probably have like 10 pieces to do that video of so I know I'll have enough to share and the black light really lets them show the glow after you take it off so hopefully it'll be dark and my camera will cooperate because yes I have my little camera to do the videos but it is not one of the newer ones and I still haven't figured out all the features for it, so we'll see how it goes. But it'll be fun to try and at least give you guys a glow idea. So, and I'll even pull out things that I did like forever ago on flat canvases as well. So, thank you so much for watching. And I'm thinking out of this bunch that I've done, this one is my favorite. I just like the color combination and how when I poured it, it did this little like almost arrow. And I see a face right there. I'm like a volcano erupting right there but yes so thank you for watching please like share subscribe and I will be working on more videos I need to get my paintings done for my 50 subscriber we request ideas on pores they have put there so thank you so much for watching have a great day don't forget to laugh like share subscribe and if you see anything you like let me know in the comments or email me and I'm willing to talk about it. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye until next time.